What's going on guys? It's Trey Mathis here from wifientrepreneur.com. So glad to see you guys landing here on my page today. It's a beautiful day here in Brookville, Maryland. I'm excited to catch you guys up with what's been going on here recently. I know it's tax season here in the United States uh, at the time of this recording. And today I want to talk a little bit about some uh, small business tax planning ideas or some small business tax planning tips that can help you guys with your online businesses and the business that you guys are creating, turning your passion to profit. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the Wi-Fi Journal. Hey guys, like I said before, I wanted to talk with you guys about what's been going on here in Brookville, Maryland. I know right now it's tax season, right around the corner. My wife is actually taking on the responsibility of doing the taxes this year, so that's gonna be pretty exciting. We actually have had a CPA do our taxes for just about every year prior to this year. My wife felt that now with the new updates in technology, with TurboTax, etc., there is enough there that you should be able to do, you know, majority of the work. Taxes aren't really that complicated when you don't have a lot of, you know, real estate and um, I don't know. It, it, taxes can get complicated, so let me say that. Uh, however, how our taxes are set up is not that complicated. And I don't know if you guys saw one of my earlier videos and I started to talk about how a good online business I did was actually a tax business where you can actually offer support online uh, to people who are doing their taxes. Well, I mean, a couple weeks later, I look online or I see I'm watching television and I see that H&R Block does something like that. TurboTax actually offers assistance as well. Uh, if you're using their service that you can get online with someone and they can help walk you through. So it's a lot of great opportunities uh, for you to give it a try. Remember, what we've always said is if you're not willing to do the necessary yourself, then you must be willing to pay someone and get what's necessary done. Uh, well, in this case, my wife, is looking to do it herself to see how we can improve upon, make sure that we're getting the best, make sure that everything is covered, etc. getting the ex experience. But what I wanted to talk about was a few small business tax planning tips that can help you be in position that you can do this. Now, if you're very new to having an online business and you've never you know, gone through a CPA and had them do your, your, your tax returns before, then you may not know fully what you can write off, you may not know what to expect, you may not know a few things. However, as I mentioned before, we've been doing it now for some years. I've had online businesses for quite some time now, so we've been going to CPA, we know what he asks, we know, you know, how he kind of fills out the form. So we know what we're looking for when we're gonna do our taxes ourselves. However, there's something that you need to do ahead of time. And that's what I wanna share with you guys today. And these tips uh, can help you long-term, whomever's doing your taxes, whether it's you doing your taxes or someone else, okay? And the first one is you wanna make sure that you keep track of everything you purchase okay if you're making any business purchases whether or not it's for training whether or not it's for equipment if you're having to you know rent a booth hire someone to make your logos uh, any expense that's required for you to operate your business is potentially a tax write-off uh, because it's a business expense so you want to make sure that you keep track of all those expenses throughout the year. Oftentimes, you know, when it comes to tax season, we're usually waiting to the very last minute, some of us January of that year, to start consolidating all the information about the things that we spent over the year on our business. And oftentimes we miss something where we don't collect it correctly. 
So what I would encourage you guys to do and what I've been doing is keeping an Excel spreadsheet that tracks my expenses on a day-to-day -day basis, but more importantly, throughout the entire year of all things that have been purchased. I know I talked a lot about hiring contractors to assist you with jobs. You know, you wanna make sure that you put those those uh, those hires down as contractors when it comes tax time because those people are essentially employees of your business. So you wanna make sure that that's um, documented correctly. So. That's one small business tip, making sure that you keep track of your expenses. Another good small business tip that I wanted to share with you guys that a good buddy of mine has been, have been giving me a hard time about, and that's having a small business account. A lot of us, when we start in our new online businesses, we think that you know we'll just make XYZ and we'll put in our standard Bank of America account or whatever it is that you guys are using, Chase, what have you. And you just put it in your regular account and you call it a day. Well, you'd be surprised to find out that if you were to make those deposits in a dedicated business account, how come tax time, having that separation from what's business and what's personal, what's being spent out of business and what's being uh, accumulated for the business specifically, how beneficial that can be for you come tax time as well. There are a number of programs where you can actually, as an entrepreneur, have established yourself with a 401k plan. They call it a self-directed 401k plan, which is essentially uh, the same style 401k that you would have at a conventional nine to five job. However, it's because you're an entrepreneur and you're generating income on, for yourself, you're able to create this type of account uh, this type of retirement account and when you go about getting into that level of uh, protecting your assets and growing your assets you're going to want to make sure that you keep your personal finances and your business finances separated so that you never have any issues or confusions in, in whatever comes about with that so those separations is very key you want to make sure you have a business account if you're tracking your 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 the things that you're purchasing if you're tracking the, the amount of money that you're making from our our earlier uh, tip then you're doing this also through your business account then you're even one step ahead now the last tip that i'm going to share with you guys right now and don't worry i'm going to leave a link below uh, that you can check out some more of our small business tax planning tips that we have. We've actually did a complete article on some small business tax planning tips that you guys can utilize right now if you're doing your taxes this year. But more importantly, it'll help you prepare yourself for the year ahead. So go over to wifientrepreneur.com and check it out. If it's not a link below, just go over to the website, search in the box, small business tax planning tips and it'll come right up for you. Now, the last and final tip that I wanna share with you guys uh, when it comes to tax season is to do your taxes. Don't try to cheat the system. Don't try to cheat Uncle Sam. Do your taxes. Don't try to hide any of the income that you're generating. Don't try to hide or overinflate any of the things that you're, you're saying that you're able to write off your purchases, et cetera. Don't try to do those things. If you're doing the business, if your business is turning your passion into profit, meaning you're doing the things that you love and what you love is allowing you to generate income in form of a business, you're going to be able to write off so much stuff that you know, once you see that going to Aruba this year and, and doing photo blogging about your experience and how that photo blog generated income, you'll find out that, you know, you may be able to write off that Aruba trip. Uh, so I would say consult with a tax uh, professional to verify all the things I'm sharing with you because I don't want to get you in trouble. However, the American economy, the America financial system is truly built for the entrepreneur. I'm sure you've heard about these big companies like Amazon who made billions in profit this year and are going to pay nothing in taxes. 
It's the reason is because they are making sure that they keep their business and personal accounts separated. They're making sure they're documenting every single thing that they're doing. And they also get a number of different tax benefits that you may not necessarily get. However, there are a number of tax benefits that you as a business owner will get that if you didn't have a business, you would not get. So be willing to impress yourself by what you can do with your passion and how that can turn into a business and how you can look up and how you can generate more of a return, more of a refund, have more things you can write off. Uh, because of such. So ma match those two together, mirror those two together. Your passion with your business, you're gonna have some great write-offs. You're gonna see that you're really having a great time uh, sharing your business and having a lot of fun making money doing so. So I'm gonna leave it there for today. I look forward to talking with you guys again real soon. If you know anyone who's looking to turn their passion into profit, tell them about our website. We have a community of over 1 million online entrepreneurs. We all want to see you succeed with turning your passion into profit. Make sure you subscribe to our channels if this is on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. We would love to hear uh, your story as it comes about. So until we talk again, take care and be blessed. Peace.